Hi, I'm Jazz. Nice and sunny today. I've had a viewer request for a DC House 4-in-1 video. Since my last video on this topic, I've been powering my hardwired products such as ceiling, mood lights and a multi-switch panel. So hi, how you doing there? This is me and my shadow. And because we've got some sunshine today, I'm going to introduce you to my EcoWorthy 100 watt folding suitcase solar panels. I will do a review on these if someone wants me to at some point. Anyway, the point is, it runs along here and it will plug into my power pack which I've shown you previously on my videos so I should just show you that just plugs in here you can see that just there and I stay in the dark so you can see that that's plugged in and it's now charging this power station so I'll unplug it off plug it in charging so that's fantastic does the trick and um, I shall also be using that to charge my DC house lithium battery that I've got in my camper van camper van micro camper I've got to, I've got to stop saying camper van anyway in my micro camper I shall show you that shortly thank you I've read it much so, following on for my shadow again, through the gate we have here, the sun is uh, not so hot now as you can see, So, um, but my solar panels are there, obviously I can put them anywhere I like, that cable. So this is the DC house 4-in-1 battery, I've already shown you all the hard wiring I've done on it. So now it's the bi-directional ports that you have on the side. So at the moment you've got the solar panel plugged in which is there. Then I'm going to plug in a USB-A which is also a splitter cable and I'm also going to charge in, charge in, plug in type C which I've got a little adapter here so you can see that's on and that just goes up to the fridge that I use sorry about the mess obviously I've taken the seat out so you can see all this hopefully a little easier then you turn on the switch this fridge always does this for some reason. Hey, there you go, don't like it. Anyway, so the fridge is on. Don't know if you can see it, a little fan going around. You can set that hot coal, plus you've got another port for charging whatever you wish. And then the splitter is charging this sort of cosmic light that points upwards and gives you all sort of stars at night. And then on top of that, we've also got a rechargeable speaker which I, I've got about three of those always use them just plug an iPod in away you go and as you can see that's also charging so that's all sockets used on that um, pretty useful and obviously as my I keep my fridge in between the two seats so this only needs to be that long and then I can just plug that in from the other side kind of the same with this and I, I can reach when the seats in situ and it's folded, push forward, I can reach in from behind and plug this in quite happily. So. Since last charging this up with the DC house charger, um, I've been traveling around, had a few stealth camps, been using spotlights for photography, charging up phones on fast chargers, um, generally using it here and there. So. A viewer did ask me, who was in a bit of a panic, how they could check this 
without having a monitor or some kind of device to do it. He also said he didn't know how to use a multimeter because I described how to do that, which is simply as this. You just set it there, as you can see where my finger is, the number 20 DC, put a probe on each side, look at that reading, compare it to the voltage chart which you can get online and that brings it to just below 90% so yeah as I said I've been using it quite a lot <laughs> I'm amazed that's all it's used but um, that's what it says double check yeah so maybe 85 percent that near a 90 percent so check your chart that will tell you how to do it without having to spend out saying that I will possibly at a later date either put um, a hall sensor on this to check everything out or a shunt haven't decided yet don't really need it to be honest for me this is good enough um, but I will do it just just for people who are a bit more organized and want to know these things so yep I think that's it for now I shall uh, pause there and turn off Now that's done, a bit more content. I've seen another YouTube reviewer that doesn't seem to have noticed that for solar charging of the DC house battery, all you need to do is plug in a solar panel. As I showed you earlier, the person I viewed added a 20 amp solar charger to his setup, lots of extra cables and connections which is a long way around to achieve the same thing. The model he had came with a state of charge monitor, but he also had the solar charge monitor to do again the same thing. Possibly this would show more detail, but maybe I'm missing his point. But if you want to keep things simple and just have better monitoring, just add a shunt or hall sensor from DC House and others. All done, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.